Hello guys, welcome back to a new vlog. So, mm. oh, what are you whinging at? The second I start talking, what do you want? Come here then. Do you want me to pick you up? Oh, come on then. Oh, my gosh. I've got to have Desmond Tootie on the vlog, haven't we? So, welcome back to my channel. It is the weekend and today um, I've actually got a really nice afternoon planned. I'm going on a hack with a few of the girls from the yard and we're doing like um, like a pub hack. So basically, riding, what are you looking at? <laughs> basically riding the horses down to the pub, gonna have a drink and then ride back. So that'll be really nice. But before we go there, me and Andy, oh, Desi, you're so heavy. I might have to put you down. She's like, please don't. Um, me and Andy are gonna pop to a garden centre that actually one of you guys recommended to me. We went before to Blue Diamond Garden Centre and one of you guys said, oh, you should try this one. It's really nice. So yeah, I can't resist. If someone tells me about a new garden centre that I've never heard of and not been to before, you can bet I'm gonna go there. So that's the plan for this morning. Um, so we're gonna go there, come back. It's gonna be a quick outfit change and then I'm gonna go, go and get Flickr in and do that. Who's there? Oh, hello. I'm for my garden centre excursion. <laughs> By the way, for anyone what happens when you turn a certain age and you just go to garden centres? I oh, know. I don't know what age that was for us. I feel like that that hit us quite early on. Because there's no day activities. Yeah. I feel like the age of us wanting to go to garden centres all the time, it started quite young for us. Yeah. But like if you go out for lunch, or if you go to a bar in the evening, if you don't do that and you it's wake like, up the next day... Do you know what it is? Garden centres are morning activities, isn't it? Yeah. Like, if you're up early like us, like, what can we do this but morning? I'm not doing this until I'm 50 or 60. What do you mean you're not doing this? Well, we'll run out of garden centres. No, we'll, I don't think we'll ever get bored. It's our favourite morning activity, guys. But yeah, for anyone thinking you're always going out and about, it's actually because I end up filming my vlogs on the weekends. So, Monday to Friday doesn't look like this. Today is a Sunday that I'm vlogging this. Um, so yeah, we're gonna jump in the car now, get going. I'm really hoping they've got like their Christmas decks and stuff. Andy's excited to. <laughs> Andy's excited to uh, look around more Christmas decorations. I know it might seem quite early, but I like to put my tree and everything up, sort of like end of November. And if I don't get the stuff now, when am I gonna do it? I'm not gonna have the time. <sighs> Lots going on, guys. You know, lots of planning, lots of Vlogmas planning as well. So I hope you are wanting Vlogmas this year. I'm really excited to film. It's a lot, but I'm really, um, I'm really excited. But yeah, let me know. Leave me a little comment if you want to see that. Give me a kick up the bum and that little spur of you can do it. And we will start the Vlogmas prep. But anyway, I feel, um, <laughs> I always feel really overdressed wearing a blazer, going to a garden centre, but I just love this blazer so, so much. So anyway, let's get going, guys. Let's see, uh, oh, I've not told you where we're going. We're going to Reg Taylor's garden centre. It's near Southwell, so near the village where me and Andy went to uni, if you watched that vlog um, a few vlogs ago. Yeah, it's near there, so yeah, I'll give you my verdict. Mr. Andy's here wearing his new coat. <laughs> <laughs> treated himself to and he's one of these people because um you don't like drawing attention to what you're wearing or I like, the, like to blend in life. blend in you, you like the opposite of me whereas i'm on like oh i'm wearing this yeah, from here and this from here but then i'm more extroverted in a room yeah definitely which people maybe don't no they don't the camera the camera turns me into an introvert which is so oh this light yeah that might not come across really on um <laughs> on camera but yeah if we're in a public setting Andy's the more extrovert, like you'll be the first person to go and say hello and not saying that I'm antisocial. <laughs> but no, you just have extroverts and introverts. And yeah, I'm definitely more introvert than you are. Imagine on the vlog thing, I come across very boring. <laughs> <laughs> you don't come across boring. Oh, I'm fine with that. But no, you're not one to say, oh, I've got this and it's from here. And no, I'm no. not doing an outfit. You're not doing day. an outfit of the day. <laughs> so I like to draw attention to it when you're wearing something new. But it's a very nice jacket, it's from Zara. Got a little 
faux fur trim round here. Very Christmas. -y. Even this just makes <laughs> it. <laughs> and he's dying on well, the inside. I don't mind it. Just... Well, I don't know what to say. One thing I did notice about his outfit when he got in the car, and I did mention it to him. Oh no, what? Was you've adopted my sandwich rule. Is it yours or is it just a thing? No, no, no. I'm not saying it's my rule, but you've heard about it through me. Yes. So. No, but I've been doing that for years. Sorry, I'm just going to make this point. Do you know how often, <laughs> sometimes people will comment on my videos on Instagram, and this isn't a dig, but I will get so many comments whenever I show me wearing like sunglasses or whatever, you know, with outfits for outfit inspo. So many times people will comment and say, why are you wearing sunglasses in autumn? Or why are you wearing sunglasses in winter? I think I'm just going to take a screen grab from this video <laughs> and make a gif and just respond because the sun doesn't go anywhere. I don't know what people think happens, but we definitely get blazing sunshine in the autumn winter here. So yeah, I'm gonna take a screen grab of this right now. But yeah, I noticed that you matched your top with the color of the shoes. And I asked him about it and he said, sandwich roll. <laughs> <laughs> I was just talking before we left about, about um, Vlogmas. Do you remember shooting the intro for Vlogmas? The first time, like two years ago? Yes. The first time I did it. Yes. How good that was. And Bolly was a little puppy. That was in the old house, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, Bolly was tiny. Yeah, yeah. And they ran in through the kitchen. Didn't yeah, they? yeah. Well, the funny thing was about that day is that whole, like, I'll pop some clips on here, but that whole shooting in the snow was not planned at all, was it? No. Like, I, I wanted to film some sort of intro. I knew that much. The shooting outside was never the plan. And then we just had this one really random day in November when it, it snowed and I had been out shooting some photos for Instagram with my friend in the morning so I hadn't got back until about one in the afternoon and it was obviously snowy everywhere and we had about so what, what two hours left of daylight mm. and literally we just dropped everything was like let's go let's just go and film some footage because we don't know if we're gonna get snow again how nice would it be to have snow in the intro so Got the dogs, went to the park, took the camera. <laughs> I was still in the out same out. I didn't even I didn't choose an outfit. I was still in the same outfit that I had just shot my Instagram photos in. I was like, I don't care. Let's just go. Let's go. And then it ended up being like the cutest little montage of clips, didn't it? Bolly was popping. Bolly was tiny. I'm so glad we just did that. And then yeah, and then we obviously got back to the house and shot the house, all the house footage. But yeah, I think like. Even though I do, I'd, you know, I'd love to think that I could shoot a nice intro every year, I still feel like because that was the first one we did and it was just very spontaneous, that'll always be my favourite one. Mm. Like, it wasn't the best in terms of, like, mega production or anything <laughs> no, like that. It was, very, it was very amateur. <laughs> like, it was literally just shot with my vlogging camera, wasn't it? Yeah, but that's sometimes a bit more authentic, isn't it? Yeah, I think sometimes that's, like, that almost makes it nicer in a way. Yeah. So, but no, that'll always be, I don't care how extravagant I'll ever do Vlogmas intros, that one will always be my favourite. Yeah, yeah. The basics. Yeah, I love that one. But then again, I love last year's as well. Last year's was like a little bit of a step up. A little we, bit, yeah. We had a different camera for that one, but you shot it. It's just chaotic with the dogs. And, and you had the drone. Oh, yeah. We used the drone to shoot some of the footage of Flickr, that was fun. The light, the thing that we didn't do well was the lighting. The lighting was hard. The lighting dictates everything though, and that's what makes it so hard. Sometimes with these things, you just have to be like, right, let's quick go and film, let's go and do it now. Um, but yeah, last year was really hard with the light. I remember shooting the indoor stuff, and it was almost getting dark. Mm. Do you remember shooting the bit at the front door, where I opened the front yes. door, and we honestly had about five minutes left before the sun set? But it looked okay though. Yeah, it did. But yeah, I really enjoyed that. But are we gonna shoot a Vlogmas intro this year? No. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Andy's like, no. <laughs> no, please God, no. They also probably think I'm so negative about it all because I'll always say like no or I'll always no. say the opposite to what you want me to say. No, I think people that watch this and watch you have got a sense of your humour now. Nobody thinks you're negative or miserable. Andy I very <laughs> Yeah he is. <laughs> Andy very much likes to pretend he's against stuff. <laughs> like how you were like, oh, it's too early to go Christmas shopping. Who was there prancing around with his trolley? I do, that is my thing. He pretend would... to not want to do yeah. something. 
I'm sorry, but I don't think uh, I was forcing you into that garden centre. I felt like I was the one being dragged around at times. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's we'll see what this one's like. We'll see what this one's like. I hope they've got the Christmas decks. We shall see. stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder The home section here is so big. We've not even gone into the Christmas section yet, but having a little mooch around the home stuff. I literally knew Andy was going to want this. Let's do a game quick. <laughs> right, come on then. I'll be crosses. Go. Ready? I never win at these games. Oh like that is a no! Oh, jammy. If we didn't have two cocker spaniels, I would love something like this in our kitchen diner. Wow, I love these candle stands. How cool are these? So nice. Love these candlestick holders, these brown ones. They're so lovely. Oh, I like these photo frames as well. Kind of brass gold, that's really nice. Okay, let's go and look around the Christmas stuff. <laughs> You're really pretty on there. Might end up grabbing a few of these to take home. Oh, look at all these like novelty baubles. <laughs> Tight measure. Oh, if you want to do like a quirky tree. A little champagne bottle. We've got a whiskey one. Christmas pod. What's this? <laughs> Fish and chips. <laughs> Is that not your thing? No, I quite like it. I don't know. <laughs> How did I know you'd want that one? Caviar. A power drill. Because they they obviously go together really nicely. Oh, I like that car with a Christmas tree. That's not. Oh my gosh, look, they've got a defender with a tree on. <laughs> my body up with it. God, Andy, they've actually got you as a bauble. Oh my gosh, look. Cheese board. That is so nice. And a toaster. Toaster. I love the, I'm really loving the cheese board. That's the full English. Because <laughs> why wouldn't you want that on your Christmas tree? Maybe one year we do a fun tree. Actually, it probably bankrupt us trying to uh, fill the tree because, um, yeah, not cheap. I was just about to say, I really like this wreath. Look at this one. Fluffy pom-pom wreath. Got loads of lovely garlands and wreaths. Really nice. This is lovely. I've got even more fun ones here. Look at this. Milk for Santa with the cookies. That's so sweet. Can we keep finding sprouts? What is it about sprouts? There's another sprout down there. I like this tractor as well. They've got lots of little bits for a rustic woodland themed tree. I mean, I don't know about him, but... <laughs> I like these little bells. They're really nice. More cars and Christmas trees. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? We have just got home and got about an hour or so to kill before I need to leave to go and um, get a flicker in, to go riding. So, yeah, I'm just gonna have a little chill by the fire, watch a little bit of TV, and then I'll be getting ready to go and head there. Guys, 
This one is for my horsey people watching, okay? I've managed to get my hands on the, probably the best advent calendar a horsey girl could dream of. This sells out every year. It's the Aztec Diamond advent calendar. And I just reminded myself of it because I was just getting ready to go riding. This is um, the Aztec Diamond base layer and their riding leggings. Literally wear their stuff all the time for riding, training, super comfortable. Anyway, I've got their advent calendar and I just feel like I need to open some of these with you because if you are maybe into horses yourself, maybe you have a horse or maybe you have a horse and I don't know, maybe your other half is watching this with you and you want to give them a passive aggressive shove because you want this, do it now. Maybe you've got children that are horse mad, your partner's horse mad, or your friend and you want to get them a really, really nice advent calendar. This is the one, so I'm gonna unbox it with you guys now. So this retails for 150 pound and it has, I think it's about 300 pounds worth of stuff in here. Now I have seen a sneak preview of something that is in here already, but I'm gonna open it with you. Okay, I've just popped it on here so that you can see it. There are 12 individual gifts in this advent calendar. I'm gonna show you just a couple. I really don't wanna spoil this for anyone because I do feel this will make a really amazing gift. And as I said, it does sell out every year. So I don't wanna spoil anything. I'm sure you'll be able to find unboxing videos when this, oh, when this starts getting opened. So I'm gonna go in at box number 10. 10 spit, ooh, it's very light. Number 10 is speaking to me. What are we saying? What is this? Okay. Oh my God. It's a 50 pound gift voucher. That is so good. You can, so you can literally go online and get whatever you want. You can literally buy like a base layer or some riding leggings. That is so good. The thing is about Aztec Diamond as well. They've got so much stuff on there. Like you could put this towards a new riding coat or maybe if you're into competing a new competition jacket that's such such a good idea to put in an advent calendar that is amazing okay i'm gonna go in it's got 12 boxes do i just do number 12 i'm gonna do number 12. let's see what's in 12. Ooh. oh my god Literally, just as I said, I always wear the base layers and riding leggings for riding. In number 12, you actually get a pair of riding leggings. How gorgeous is that colour as well, that grey? Oh my God, look at that. I know these on their own cost 50 quid. So already that's a hundred pounds worth in two days. And I've got another pair of leggings that I can wear. Absolutely buzzing with that. Oh, do I do one more? I feel like I could do one more. That's not spoiling it for anyone, is it? Well, do you know what? We're in it now, so. I'm gonna do one more. Let's do number, let's see what numbers are up here. Let's do, let's do number five. Cause it's here and it's easy. Oh my God, it's a plaiting kit. So for when you plait your horse's mane for dressage or competing or anything like that, it's a little plaiting kit. And it's in the handiest, cutest little bag. That is so handy. So what is actually in here? So you've got your tub of plaiting bands, always an essential. Oh my God, you've got one of these um, combs. So this splits the hair so that when you're um, plaiting the mane, you can get three even amounts to then do your plaits. So all your plaits are the same size. That looks like the silliest little thing, but it's the most handiest <laughs> little thing. If you're like me, you're not very good at plaiting your own horse. And a metal plaiting comb as well. That is so handy, especially for us, because we love to go out competing in dressage and for the eventing season next year, when I'm back to plaiting up every other week. That, that's such a good idea, honestly. I feel like I'm really in my element with a horsey themed advent calendar. 
and I like that the gifts aren't like it's they're not aimed at like children they're not full of like pony coloring books do you, do you know what I mean which sometimes I think if something's a horsey themed it, it's very rare you'll get it aimed at adults so as a horse girl I am loving this I absolutely love this such a good idea right guys I'm not gonna open anymore because I really don't want to spoil it but let me know because uh, once December has started I can maybe unbox a few more then so I know I'm not spoiling it for anyone but yeah let me know if you want to see any more goodies that are in here because that is blooming brilliant and with that guys I'm gonna go and get my horse in because yeah we are gonna go for a little hack down to the pub um, but yeah, you've already seen the outfit that I'm wearing. This is, um, as I said, it's from Aztec Diamond. I believe this is one of their, I think this is one of their new colours. Um, but I just couldn't resist. I'm literally blending into my wall. But I love this khaki green colour. I mean, you could probably wear these to go to the gym or running or something. But So yeah, I really like these. And I love that they're not restrictive. They're really stretchy. Even though they're like quite figure hugging. They're super stretchy and comfortable for riding. So yeah, I love these. I'm absolutely buzzing. Oh, I've got another pair of leggings. Oh, how amazing. And one thing I do really rate about these leggings, for me especially, I do a lot of riding on my own. I like to have my phone on me, obviously just in case of an emergency something happened. They've got down the leg here. So on the inside of this leg, I don't know if you can see, can you see these little strips? They're like grippy strips, so you can put your phone. There we go, so I can carry my phone in my pocket, in my leg there. It's not gonna be like, you, cause you really can't ride with having like pockets here because phones are now so big, it really restricts your, you can, well you can imagine if you sat in a saddle, it really restricts your movement. So having a pocket here on the leg with a grippy bit, like look, that phone, that phone is not coming out. No matter what I'm doing, that phone is stable in there, so super super handy to have yeah one of my favorite features i will say of the aztec diamond leggings is a little handy pocket for your phone which i shall be using today when i go for my little ride down to the pub so let's go come on then guys let's go to the pub <laughs> Woo. come on you got your husband with you Now there's a table there that wasn't there before. We're gonna, <laughs> are we gonna look at it. Yes. There's a table there. Come on, darling, it won't hurt you. Good girl. Hiya. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, darling. Yeah, should we trot? Oh, with these off. Degree heat, and we could have all been in our t shirts. 
I don't know why she's got a march on now. God, I think they've, they've had a drink, haven't they? Like, yeah, let's go now. I have just got ready. Well, not just got ready. <laughs> just freshened up. I've been filming um, this morning uh, a couple of campaigns I've had to get sent off. Uh, and then this afternoon, I have an amazing afternoon planned. So I'm actually heading, let me step back. Sorry guys, I've got you balancing on a candle. Um, I'm actually heading down to London this afternoon, back down there again. Um, I'm actually going to Fortnum and Mason for afternoon tea to celebrate Josie's launch or Josie's collaboration with Toka. Now, anyone that's watched my channel for a while, you'll know that one of my favorite things to do, one of my favorite things to eat and experience is an afternoon tea. Like we're talking like death row meals. I'd ask to be taken to an afternoon tea. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I don't understand what's not to like. Tea, probably champagne, cakes, sandwiches, jam and cream scones. It's honestly one of my favorite things to do. So I'm so excited to be going to do it at Fortnum and Mason. Their afternoon tea is literally one of the best. So I'm very, very excited. Um, I'm wearing, it's actually a gorgeous day today after what feels like about a month of rain. Um, the sun is shining, so I hope you'll be able to see what I'm wearing from there. I have gone for shorts with just a plain black top. Um, I have also got my Massimo Duty, can you see from there? Like riding boots on, a little bit of a equestrian vibe. And then I've got my brown mango uh, wool blend blazer on. <laughs> Wool blend blazer, why do I always struggle to say that? Um, yeah, so this is the vibe that I've gone for because as I said, it's really not that cold today. Um, and this wool, I love the um, design of this. I was gonna wear my um, headband, but I don't know, I'm in two minds. Maybe I'll take it with me. I don't know, I'll take this with me. But anyway, this is what I am wearing. I'm gonna go and quickly pack my bag and then we're gonna yeah, head to the train station. I have literally just arrived by the skin of my teeth at Fulham and Mason. The train was so late getting in, but I'm here and I'm in the gorgeous private room. We're on the, um, on the, in the tasting room in Fortnum and Mason and just look how gorgeous this room is. I feel so spoiled after the last few days. I've just been saying hello to all the girls. I'm gonna go around here and find my seat. Oh, Double vlog, how are you? <laughs> well, we need to stop running to each other like this all the time. So I'm just having a little look at the menu. I need to choose a couple of bits and bobs for the How nice this looks. Josie over here, we've got Freddie, we've got all of the girls, some of them you will definitely have seen before as well. Cheers darling, I actually haven't um, told you I'm sitting next to the lovely Laura. You guys have probably seen it all over Instagram, absolute fame. And then to my right, I have the lovely me and Laura. And a little cheer. Oh, we've done a cheer. We're doing a cheer. We're doing a cheer. We're doing a cheer. Cheers, girlies. Cheers, everyone. And the brand launched with fashion at its very heart. And over the years, it diverted into beauty and fragrance. Um, so that's really what it's most known for now. So the fashion isn't available anymore. But luckily, the beauty and fragrance took over. And it's had lots and lots of different products. Um, but what we are very excited about is the fragrance collection. So the first one launched in 2006, which makes it quite old. Um, <laughs> but actually, we continually added to the range, which is always really nice. And this fragrance for us, we hope at this time of year, will be the perfect gift for lots of different people. <laughs> but I just wanted to say personal thanks to Josie for bringing you all together um, but it's been such a delight to work with you over these last few months as well and we are so pleased to have you here today and host this beautiful afternoon tea. So first of all thank you everybody for coming. When the girls said you can choose your favourite ladies to come along I just thought what a dream and it's obviously such a nice intimate group and all of you inspire me in so many different ways you're just the most fabulous 
great energy bunch of ladies, so thank you all so much for coming. So Dolce Fagnente is the art of slow living. For me that's gardening, it's flower arranging, it might be baking, it might be horse riding, it could be a myriad of different things and this is a fragrance that just relaxes you, gives you that timeless scent of memories that will bring you back to that fabulous moment and I hope you will love wearing the scent throughout autumn. So thank you all so much. Cheers angels darling. So I went for the Victoria Lobster Omelette with truffle, guys. <laughs> if you can smell this right now, it smells incredible. So, so good. And then afterwards we're going to have the scones and then we've got the pastries. Oh, it's so good. We've got the cakes, we've got the scones. Just about to start my jam cream scones. I am a cream and jam girl. Oh, oh sorry. Leonora's a sorry. It's gone. It's girl. It's gone real. It's gone girl. These look absolutely delish. Oh, so good. Lovely Josie here. Thank you so much for setting this up. This and has just been it's true. been incredible, hasn't it? What a I just feel so yeah. fortunate and lucky so to be I. like even even stood between these two I, superstars. I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, pinch me, please. It's been so so lovely. The perfume yeah, it smells. Well, I don't know whether it's you or me, but or you. We all smell oh, we all amazing. Smell the same thing. <laughs> oh, it's so gorgeous. And you were just saying earlier that it smells so good with like cashmere, all of like your winter materials. It's going to be. So, I think I'm going to be using a lot of them. And you know what? I think fragrance is really strong when it comes to linking memories. So now, because you discovered it here, this is think of you, right? <laughs> I feel like you can't come to Fortnum and Mason without having a little look around and look how gorgeous their kitchenware is. Look at this plate. Imagine putting a Christmas turkey and all the trimmings on here and serving it. These lovely serving plates here. I love these. Look at this tray with the mice as handles. So, so sweet. Oh my goodness, look at these mugs. Look at these mugs. Gorgeous serving wear here. That is just beautiful. Just so, oh my gosh, look at these Christmas tree. Little dishes. So, so sweet. Oh, and then they've got their Christmas tree collection over here. I spotted these napkins and these are just so beautiful. Look at these. So gorgeous with the embroidered Christmas tree. I was just about to start my pamper evening and then I thought, actually, I'm going to show you what I'm using because I'm using some new bits that Elemis kindly sent to me as a gift. So first up, I'm going to hop in the shower and use some of their bath and shower milk. I absolutely love their shower milk and I literally just finished my last one. And here it is, the lime and ginger. It smells so lush, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what this one smells like. Very excited for that. So I'm going to start off by showering with this. Oh, actually, tell a lie. I'm going to tear my makeup off with the Elemis Cleansing Balm. If you watch my vlogs, you'll know this isn't a new product on this channel. I've used this so many times, but always lovely to have a nice top up. So I'm actually going to use this first. Then I'll be showering with that. Then I'm actually going to do a bit of my red light therapy with my current body mask. And then I think I'm going to use some of these goodies. So I've got the Rehydrating Ginseng Toner. I have also got this, which I've actually not used before, the Pro Collagen Advanced Eye Treatment. So we're going to use some of that. The Marine Cream, which is an old favourite. And then this, the Elemis Body Butter. So that's going to be lovely to pop on after my shower using this. So yeah, let the pamper evening commence. Fresh out of the shower, 
sorry about the echo, but um, yeah, I've just had a shower with the new shower milk, so nice. I don't want to toot my own trumpet, but I actually smell really good right now. It smells so, so good. Um, I have also used, oh gosh, please excuse the hair. I didn't bother washing my hair because I need it in like a sleek bun for tomorrow night. So yeah, I didn't really see the point in washing it. Um, but yeah, I popped on some of the um, velvet body butter just after as well. And oh my God, I can smell it on my hands. So, so nice. But anyway, just before I go and do my mask, I'm gonna use some of the Rehydrating Ginseng Toner. I feel like this would be really nice. Oh, there we go. If this was like put in the fridge and you know, it was freezing cold and really refreshing. Oh my God, that smells nice as well. <laughs> oh, I haven't even read what it does. So this refreshing facial toner effectively tones the skin without the use of alcohol. Either use it on a cotton wool pad and wipe it over your face or used as a refreshing spritz. Well, I'd have assumed by the top of it that you just spray it on your face. Oh well. Oh, that feels so nice. So nice. Right. Just before I pop on the, what is this? Elemis Eye Treatment um, and the moisturiser. I am gonna have 10 minutes with my red light mask. Just to make sure my skin is feeling super nice for tomorrow. So let me go and grab that now. I feel like this might be one of the worst jump scares on my channel ever. This looks absolutely terrifying. <laughs> I literally like look like Terminator or the Iron Man or something. That is so funny. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna sit and do my red light mask for. <laughs> just noticed how funny my mouth looks. Uh, for ten minutes. That's all. Um, that's all you need. Ten minutes every day. I don't think I've ever. Have I ever showed you this before? I'm not sure if I've actually vlogged when I've been wearing this. Have I? Okay. I don't know if I have, but if I'm repeating myself, I apologise. But. If you're wondering why on earth I'm wearing this. So this is my red light therapy mask. You've probably heard of red light therapy when it comes to skincare if you're really into that sort of thing. So you can actually get like red light therapy um, treatments at, uh, you know, if you go for facials or in certain salons. This at home mask that I'm wearing right now actually delivers the same clinically proven wavelengths as the machines that you get in the salons it's also 100 percent safe doesn't hurt it's literally attached i've got like an elastic thing around my head and yeah i just sit here <laughs> for 10 minutes the way you use it is you cleanse your face first so make sure you've taken all your makeup off giving your face a good cleanse don't put any of your skincare on so don't put your moisturizer or your retinol uh anything like that on you want to use this on a completely just clean face you don't want your skincare to interfere or block any of the red light or the infrared light so yeah pop it on and then as i said it only takes 10 minutes and then once it's done you can complete your skincare routine and if any of you guys are literally sat there like why on earth would you want to do that if you've never heard of red light therapy or if you're maybe just not sure what red light therapy does in a nutshell I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not medically trained or anything like that. So I am probably not using the right scientific terms here, but in a nutshell, it accelerates the production of new collagen, which as we all know, is essential to helping the skin maintain its elasticity, helps it become softer, plumper. I honestly can't take myself seriously. <laughs> god it's like wally is speaking to you on the vlog it's so funny it also helps to even out skin tone it helps fine lines and wrinkles all the good stuff really i believe i have a discount code if my discount code is um active i will pop it on the screen now um but yeah so here i am it's gonna be me chilling 
And I know what you're all thinking. Andy is one lucky, lucky boy when he comes to bed. <laughs> Greeted by this. To be fair, I think I've only got about three minutes left and then it's done. But yeah, that's me for the evening. So once this is done, I'll reconvene with you and we'll finish off the skincare routine. So, a bit of Elemis Pro Collagen Advanced Eye Treatment. Oh, oh, it's clear. I thought it was going to be more like a cream, but it's, um, oh, that's really nice. It's like a really, um, it's like a really nice, like a thin serum. I thought it was going to be like a thick eye cream. Oh, lovely. And then, final step of tonight's skincare. Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Oh, if I can open it. Oh. Oh my god, let's lose, use a bit of that. It's been an evening full of Elemis tonight, which is never a bad thing. There we go, feeling fresh. I've got a little bit of a mark <laughs> on my nose from the mask. I usually lie down flat when I'm wearing it, but I think because I was sat up because I was vlogging, it's just pressed my nose, so if you're wondering what that mark is there. So now I'm going to get into bed and watch a bit of Married at First Sight. I will say, not my favourite season. I preferred the last season of Married at First Sight Australia compared to this season of the UK one. I'm still enjoying it. I'm enjoying the drama, but not as good as the Australia one. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna get in bed and watch.